So we had a request from one of our other partners here to build something, and we decided to expand this out because we think it can be beneficial for anyone using ConnectWise PSA. So a common best practice is to have a centralized dispatcher that's you know, spending their time reviewing all of the tickets that are coming in and kind of dragging and dropping those onto the dispatch portal for ConnectWise. The problem is that unfortunately ConnectWise, as those tickets get worked, you'll mark those calendar entries done, but ConnectWise doesn't do anything to adjust the calendar entry or the schedule entry you know, as it pertains to the time record. So you may have something that's scheduled for 30 minutes and it takes you five minutes to complete. But unfortunately for your dispatcher, they don't see that you're ahead of schedule now by 25 minutes. So what we've done is we have a workflow that basically looks at all of those schedule entries as the time entry is created. So we have a simple trigger. We're looking to see that the time entry was added and that it's being charged to either a service ticket or a project ticket. From there, we do a quick test to get the current date. And we read from that time entry for the time start. And we format that so it matches the same format as the current date format. So from there, we're going to compare those dates. And if it happens to be that the time entry date uh, and the scheduled dates are today or the current date, then we're going to proceed. So we're going to pause so that we give the technician enough time to check the marked done checkbox associated with that schedule record. And then we are going to list all of the schedule entries associated with that ticket ID. As we get through, there's possibility that you may have multiple things scheduled. So we've accounted for that. But if there's a single result returned, then we're going to go down to the schedule record and we're going to update that schedule record so that it matches your time end. And it's going to match your start time, as we have here. And then it's going to go back and close that schedule record. So what that looks like, if you're the tech that's working your ticket, you're just going to open your ticket. We're going to put in a ticket note. We're going to save it. And then we're going to mark ourselves done on our calendar entry. So what we're going to see is as we look at our execution results, we're going to see that that was too slow to update my time entry is what we're going to see because I talked too much. But as we work through these, oh, forgot to put it in progress. So now what we should go back and see is that workflow execute. That wait for tech, I think we have coded at 10 seconds, as I recall. So now we list our entries. We identify which one we're going to update. We update and close the record. And what your dispatcher would see is as their calendar adjusts and the dispatch portal, of course, is adjusted, you'll see that that record that was now here at 430 has shifted up to match that time entry. So that's now exposed that there's a 30 minute gap that a dispatcher could fill with additional work. And that is essentially it. So this is a standalone workflow that we could you know, simply export and import into any environment.